Hey guys, so welcome to your love reading for Pisces. This is going to be for your November 2023. You can apply this to your uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So we're going we're to take a look and see, um, take a look at the person that you were dealing with or possibly still currently dealing with. We're going to see what this person did to you and then we'll finish off three to see uh, why this person did it what, it, what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So apply this to your own situation, okay? Uh, you may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're uh, looking for a reading that's specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to um, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, all right? So tell me about Pisces, the person that Pisces was dealing with or is currently dealing with. What did this person do to Pisces? What did this person do to Pisces for November 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Pisces, for Pisces. We have the strength card, Leo energy here, and the Ace of Swords. Okay. You know, I, I, whoever this is, I feel like this person has, just has poor boundaries or really poor self-control here. I feel like this person consistently crossed your boundaries here. And you're like, you know what? This is, this, this is the line here. And I feel like this person kept crossing that line. Yeah. And I feel like, I feel like, each time you brought it up or each time you were just concerned about the whole thing here, I just feel like this person just completely ignored you. Yeah, Page of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Whoever this is, I just feel like this person's really immature. I feel like this person doesn't really like to be called out on anything wrong that they did here. Okay, and I feel like this person tries to diminish your feelings. Okay, try to diminish your experience by just trying to be cute or trying to like, you know, get away with it by, you know... Having sex with you. Yeah. So, you know, I just feel like this person has a hard time really facing their mistakes here. Yeah. Whoever this is. Very emotionally mature here. Uh, you know, I feel like this person just consistently does that here. Yeah, with the pa pages. I, I, whoever this is, I'm not going to lie here. Um, uh, Pisces, I feel like this person's a bit of a punk. Yeah, quite annoying here. Talks a lot. Um, you know, all, all talk, no show, no go here. Okay. Uh, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? And the King of Cups in the reverse. I mean, you're definitely dealing with like, an, you know, someone that's your age, maybe they're older than you, but you're definitely dealing with someone here definitely, definitely in its like low vibing state here. The King of Cups is, you know, in the reverse, is someone here who's very emotionally abusive, you know, someone here who's very controlling, uh, someone here can come off a bit narcissistic here, you know, and I feel like you've been through so much with this individual that, you know, I feel like you keep explaining yourself or over explaining yourself, but this is the line that I'm drawing here. Don't cross the line. If you cross that line, you know, there will be, you know, consequences here. And I feel like this person doesn't care. Um, page of Cups. What the Page of Wands in the reverse. This person's a, ain't, this person's a bit of a ne negative Nancy here. Okay, do you feel like this person is an, a, like an incredibly angry person? Perhaps with a razor sharp, a sharp tongue here. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like, you know, the reason, I, I mean, it's starting to see why this person's behaving like this because I feel like this person has like really bad memories from their childhood here. Uh, their childhood wasn't really that great. I mean, there could have been sexual assault here, sexual abuse, and I feel like that's why this person's behaving this way, okay? The Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Six of Cups in the reverse here, the Ace of Wands here, and the Hermit. Yeah, this person tends to disappear and run away. They tend to disappear and run away, but I feel like you're disappearing from this person. You know, I feel like, you know, you're giving this person chances from the kindness of your own heart. And I feel like this person kept sabotaging it here. Or this person was definitely, you know, creating drama, unnecessary drama here. Because, you, you know, your intentions was to resolve things with this person here. But it just created more problems. It just created more problems, okay? What else do we have here for Pisces? Why did this person do this to Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know? Look out for it. Work on it for November 2023. 
sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Pisces, for Pisces. Three of Pentacles and the Lovers. Okay. Seems like you guys have a strong soul tie here. The problem with this situation that you were in with this person, I feel like you were definitely dealing with someone here where it was a dynamic of you were the parent and they were the child sort of thing. It's like you were parenting this person. You were basically... You know, trying to coach this individual on how to be a decent person here. And I feel like you're realizing that it was not your job to do that. Okay? Uh, this person should have gotten the memo when they were 10 years old. Okay? Six of Pentacles here and the Two of Pentacles. Seems like the pers this person was juggling you, breadcrumbing you here. Um, whoever this is, you know, I do feel like this is an individual that's incredibly insecure. Emotionally, mentally, I would say that this person's a bit unbalanced here okay uh you know i do feel like at some point or that you know at some point they will come back and try and make peace here with you and look for your forgiveness uh perhaps you know they were with you because you might have some you might have had some pentacles to offer this person but you know i just feel like you don't have anything more to give this person you know i feel like this person stayed with you because of the pentacles here kind of make them look good here in a way yeah, be you by them being with you, it kind of make them look good because maybe they came from a place a lot. Maybe this person didn't really have anything. Maybe this person had like a, a job that didn't really pay them a lot here, you know. Uh, but with the Queen of Pentacles here and the Eight, yeah, you know, you're definitely walking away from the situation here, and you could be focusing on your own Pentacles here, you know. You could be focusing on your own Pentacles, focusing on your goals here, uh, you know, not dealing with the situation like i said it's very unbalanced here like i like i really do feel like it's a situation where you're the parent and this person's a child here um the temperance card five of swords five of pentacles and the empress here they definitely see you in very high regard here. i mean they, it's it's interesting they see they, they view you as their parent here so I feel like, like I said, I feel like you were taking their care of this person. I feel like you were coaching this person on how to de be a decent, decent human being here. You were coaching this person how to like, uh, you know, get out of a rut here, you know, but I feel like this person never really listened. Yeah, I feel like this person never really listened here. You know, it could be that this person's like stressing out that you're leaving them behind. Whoever this is, I feel like this person becomes more and more obsessed with you every time you pull away or pull further away from this individual. But I do feel like they're definitely coming back around for like a new beginning here with you, okay? Yeah, they're, they're becoming more and more and more and more and more obsessed here. It's a control thing too. Yeah, not letting you go, not letting you leave, telling you that you can't go or that telling you that, you know, uh, they can't function if they're without you, that sort of thing. Definitely some sort of manipulation tactic here. Definitely uh, some sort of like a control tactic here. But I feel like you're not falling for it here, Pisces. Okay. So Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.